Now state law does require you to have an electronic trailer brake control switch or box in your towing vehicle. 2011 models or newer, some of them are built in. They're usually just underneath the steering dash off to the side, either over here or over here. There's usually a plus button, a minus button, and then a little squeeze buttons that you can squeeze together. That's going to be your 2011 and newer vehicles if they come equipped with that. For the rest of us, we have to add them in aftermarket. This right here is my electronic trailer brake control switch or box. What this box does is it tells the trailer's brakes how much power to use. The faster you're going, the more power they're going to need. The slower you're going, the less power you're going to need. It depends on what your model is, but almost all of them will have either a dial or a button for your gain control. Mine has a dial. Pushing it forward is more, bringing it back towards the driver is less. So the faster you're going, the more you need, the slower you're going, the less you need. Um, a lot of them will have digital displays. Where should you set yours? That will depend on what you're towing, the weight of your vehicle, the weight of your trailer, where you're towing, if you're mountainous or if you're in stop and go traffic. So you can play with it like a radio, or for me, because I'm towing with a heavy diesel truck, I like to keep mine down to my lowest point where I'm comfortable. And then I know that I have another backup option. I can always add gain if I need to. I also have this override. That's where this little squeeze is right there. Some of them are underneath and they're just little pull levers and some of them are two buttons that squeeze together. But that's your override. Now that override does a couple of things for you and it is probably the biggest safety thing that you can possibly do while towing a travel trailer is that engages just the travel trailer's brakes. If you're ever towing and you get any kind of fishtailing, a big diesel goes by you, it's windy, whatever it may be, and you start fishtailing at all, you just lightly press on that override without pressing on your vehicle's brakes. Well, you can press on your vehicle's brakes at the same time, but this is the important part. Lightly pressing on that override, that engages just the trailer's brakes and it will pull that trailer straight. Um, that's also a good backup if you decide you do not have enough gain control on there and you need to stop you can also lightly press on that override you just give it as much power as you need now state law what it requires every state is different so as you travel you might fall into different states and they'll have different laws a good rule of thumb though if it's over about 2500 pounds you're going to want an equalizer hitch not an equalizer hitch uh electronic trailer brake is what i meant to say um, Utah state law used to be anything over three, I'm sorry, anything over 2,000 pounds, state law requires you to have electronic trailer brakes or just trailer brakes. I have a lot of people come in and say, well, I tow all the time and I've never had to have them. That is usually because they're towing boats. Boats have what's called hydraulic brakes. And with the hydraulic brakes, that's where it's just done by the pressure of the stopping. Um, you do not have nearly as much control with those and that's fine with a boat because a boat is aerodynamic. Travel trailers generally are not aerodynamics. That's why it's so important to have one of these. Now when you come to pick up the trailer I'm going to have you do a couple of things. I want you before you to go out out here on the gravel I want you to test out your electronic trailer brakes make sure that they're working properly. Oh, I have also forgot to tell you what the current law is in Utah because they changed the law from 2,000 pounds to now more of a distance, which actually just makes it a little bit more ambiguous. You have to be able to stop within 40 feet going 20 miles per hour on a level road. When you're renting a trailer, uh, even if you own a trailer, a lot of times you don't know those kinds of things. So it's a lot better just to go ahead and get the electronic trailer brake and be on the safe side. Now out of all my trailers, I do have that little 15 foot retro. It does not require the electronic trailer brake. Everything else does require an electronic trailer brake. And it doesn't matter if you rent from me or from somebody else, that's actually a state law requirement. Now, what I'm gonna have you do before you leave my lot out on my gravel lot, that's part of the reason why I leave it gravel is so you can play with those electronic trailer brakes. I want you 
to turn up those electronic trailer brakes all the way. Turn that gain control all the way up. Get going, press on those brakes. I want you to feel the pressure of having the trailer do all the stopping for you. And you will feel that trailer stop and jerk you back. Now the trailer's brakes are not anti-lock brakes. They will just lock up and drag. So that's very uncomfortable if they're not set properly. So you'll wanna make sure that you're in a comfortable position with those electronic trailer brakes. When you go to install your electronic trailer brake box, make sure that you'll have easy access to it so that you can make on the go adjustments if needed. The next thing I'm gonna have you do is bring it all the way down so that you can back up, pull forward again, and press on those brakes and see what it feels like to have the vehicle do all of the work and the trailer doing nothing. You can feel that it takes much longer to stop yourself. Then the next thing I'm gonna have you set it somewhere in the middle where you feel comfortable and then use just the override get going again. Lightly press on that override. See what it feels like to only have the trailer do the braking. You'll feel it break back. This is also a really good way to make sure that your trailer brakes are working properly. When you're all done with your electronic trailer brakes, then I'm gonna have you pull up and out onto the road and we'll go inside and finish the paperwork.